my shoes on, got ready, and I started shooting video because I kind of thought maybe I wasn't going to make it and that I wanted to document what was happening. Oh, goodness. Well, just watching that video gives me some chills. And musician Buck McCoy has called Middle Tennessee home for more than a decade, playing at some of the most famous spots here in Music City. But two years ago, his life and the history of Nashville became intertwined when he lost his home on 2nd Avenue in the Christmas Day bombing. And you are joining us here right now to speak more about that. And I will never forget watching that video that you recorded and seeing that glass shattered out and getting, even right now, I'm getting kind of like choked up thinking about it. So just uh, two years after the fact, how are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling a lot better because watching that video does kind of bring me back to the, all the feelings and emotions that I was going through. And it was, uh, uh, it was probably the most devastating thing that's happened to me in my life. You just move here to Nashville to play music. You never think that we're going to be involved in something so horrific. And uh, I woke up that morning and from then my life was changed. But uh, looking back on it two years now, I've gone through an evolved situation where I'm really forgiving, you know. Uh, I was so angry and I lost all my stuff and I had to replace everything. I had to move. I, you know, I was like, why would this happen to me? But now I've kind of got a forgiving heart of uh, the gentleman or the person that had mental illness that parked his uh, car there and decided to blow up the street because uh, he thought he was going to, you know, right. uh, you pay know, attention to things. I have to ask you, whenever I run past that area, it still catches me by surprise because the brick from some of those buildings is still gone. So what do you think about it? It does look like a war zone. You know, it's like there hasn't been much uh, done to it. And so two years later, you would think that let's get, let's get a move on it because it's not something you want to walk past and see all the time. No, and you know what else? That incident, some of that video, you lost your cat, Molly. Well, Molly was in the uh, apartment there for about six days before they discovered her. She was hiding, yeah. and she was uh, completely starved, and the whole dang world went crazy for Molly, my cat. Uh, I got emails from Germany and Austria and all over the world about the cat. I mean, we're all animal lovers, and yeah. I felt so defenseless that I wasn't able to help her, and there was just... A uh, 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 crime scene, so they were unable to go get her. So the six days later, she came out. She's alive. She's good today. Yeah. As a matter of fact, bring her over. Molly. Wait, Molly's here. No. Oh. <laughs> Don't know that thing about me. <laughs> Let me ask you one quick question. Do you are you hopeful to see the next steps for Second Avenue for it to come back just better than it was before? I do. I think Second Avenue is a gold spot. And uh, it can be revitalized, and there's some new places coming up. I know uh, Eric Church has bought a building on the corner there, and I hear uh, uh, Morgan Wallen has purchased a piece of property over there. So I think it's going to turn into a great hot spot, and it'll be back to what it was before. Uh, this whole disaster. I believe you're right. Hey, Buck McCoy, thank you so much for coming out in the snow, no doubt. <laughs> oh, my gosh, and helping us and speaking with us here on Fox 17 News this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, our time right now is 8.17, and Buck, I'll agree with you. We are all animal lovers. Every day I do a pet of the day because we need to, you know, spotlight them a little more than ourselves occasionally. So today i got a dog of the day whose name is Peter Barker. Sent in by Nicole from Lebanon. Temperatures right now are below zero.